Hey, what's up guys? Today in this video, I'm just going to show you how to bypass the new 4.10 update on your PlayStation 3. Uh, it's really easy. You just have to edit a couple of files if you're in the U.S. If not, um, if you're in Europe, uh, this will just work and you can download it and use it. I will show you guys how to do this right now. Honestly, I don't know how useful it is because it's not going to work unless you're on 4.0. Um, if you're on anything lower, like 3.55, this isn't even going to work for you. It won't be able to get you online with custom firmware. But if you just want to hold out and stay on 4.0, and not update to 4.10, you can do that. It's not going to hurt anything. And if, if you really don't need to update to 4.10, if you don't want to use Dropbox, or if you're not going to be uh, getting a PS Vita anytime soon or anything like that, you can stay on uh, 4.00 and still play online and download stuff from the uh, PlayStation Store. All that you want, it's not going to hurt you at all. So, first off, to get started, you need to follow the link down in the description below. It's going to take you to my website. Um, you can read over the written guide on how to do this, and also you just need to go ahead and download the files from right here. And uh, uh, once you get everything downloaded, you're going to have to do this on a Windows computer. So once you have everything downloaded, um, first thing that you're going to need to do is uh, you'll notice that once you have it downloaded, it's uh, yet another bypass, uh, 1.3.RAR. So you're going to need WinRAR. If you don't have that, I will put a link down in the description. All it does, it's kind of like WinZip, I guess. It just basically unzips or unrars the file. So you can get it in a folder form like this. So once you have that, just open up the folder that you extracted. And you'll see yet another bypass. And here's all the uh, files for the program. This actually starts the program that's going to allow you to bypass. This stops it. So when you're done, you just want to make sure that you run this killer program. And that'll go ahead and stop the program from running. And then you also have the config in here. Now, if you're on a European PlayStation, you can go ahead and skip ahead a little bit in the video until where I show you guys actually how to use this. If you are on a US-based PlayStation, there's just a couple of things that we're going to have to change in this config file. It's super easy, so follow along with me right now. First of all, we're going to go into config, and then we're going to go into the bypass file folder, go into the update folder, the PS3 folder, the list folder, and then finally we're here. So you should see a folder named EU for Europe. Um, go ahead and right click, and we're going to make a new folder, and let's call that US. Now, um, what we need to do is go ahead and make a copy of all the files that are in the uh, European folder and we just need to copy those oops I think I cut them we need to just copy those over to the US folder so right click and then paste that way we just have basically a mirrored copy of everything that's in the US folder the next thing that we need to do is go and open up this ps3 update list.txt file you're gonna see in here it says uh, this is the information for the European server so if you're on a US PlayStation this isn't gonna work for you so what we need to do is just copy a bit of text um, if you look at my website if you go down a little bit um, there is going to be some information that you need to copy. Do you see how it says US here? So basically just go over to my website, copy all of this information till here, until the semicolon after timeout. Um, go ahead and make a copy of that. Hopefully I can paste this in since I'm in a remote desktop environment. I'm sure that I can. So we just need to erase the European information and go ahead and paste in the US information. Once you do that, just file, save, and you can exit out. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. Okay, now for this next step, we need to go ahead and start the server. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is click back until we get back into the main directory of that um, file folder that we were in. Until you'll see the yet another bypass start.batch file. So go ahead and double click that batch file. It's going to open. It's going to run in the background. You're not going to notice that it's running, but you should see that little command prompt come up and then go away. If you get an error message that says you need to install Microsoft.net, you're going to need to do that. Um, I think I installed 3.5 on here. I think 4 is the newest. Um, whichever one you want to do. Uh, link will be below in the description. It's really easy to install. Uh, just follow through it. And then once you have it installed, you should be able to continue on and pick up where we are right now. So once your server's up and running, you need to go ahead and get your computer's IP address. How you do that is if you're on a Windows computer, which you need to be to use this, you need to go to Start, Run, type in CMD in the command prompt, or I'm sorry, in the Run box there, press Enter, and that's going to bring up a command prompt. On your command prompt, all you need to do is just type in IPCONFIG or IPConfig, press enter on your keyboard, and you're going to get a readout here of all of your Ethernet adapters IP addresses. Um, so basically mine and plug-in wired, so it says my IP address is 192.168.2.203. You need to remember that or write it down or whatever you need to do just so you remember that number because we're going to need it here in just a minute for when we go over to the PlayStation. So once you have your computer's IP address, we can go ahead and go over to our PlayStation. I will switch over there right now. And what we're going to go ahead and do is go all the way over to settings and then all the way down to the bottom to network settings. And then we need to go to internet connection settings. Third one down, press OK. All right, let's go ahead and pick custom. 
and then uh, wired or wireless, depending on whatever you're using. I'm on wireless right now, so I'm going to go ahead and scan for my access point. You just connect to that like normal, and then I'll, uh, I'll connect to my network real quick, and we'll pick up after that. Okay, once you're connected to your network and you put in your uh, WEP or whatever uh, encryption your router is using, let's go ahead and pick our IP address setting to automatic. Um, we'll go ahead and not set a host name. Uh, DNS setting, we'll set that to automatic as well. Um, MTU automatic. Proxy server, we want to go ahead and go down to use instead of do not use. So hit use. And for our proxy server's address, you uh, will remember that we read off our uh, computer's IP address and you wrote it down. That is where you're going to put that in. So in my case, it's 192.168.2.203. And obviously, this is going to be different for you. So make sure you're putting in your own unique IP address that you had. Uh, from your router. Port number in this particular instance it's going to be port 27. Port 27 is the port that you're going to be using. So once you put in port 27 go ahead and press start and that's going to enter that in and then just go ahead and go next. UPnP it depends on if you're going to be using that on your router. I just disable it because I don't like it because it changes all my ports up and stuff like that. Uh, once you're done there just go ahead and press the X button, save your settings and then go ahead and go here and test your connection if you like and everything should check out. You should see an IP address, a uh, connection to the PlayStation Network should work. If your test is successful, just go ahead and press circle. That's gonna take you back out to your XMB. And you should notice that you're going to be able to sign into the PlayStation Network. So just go ahead and hit sign in. And this should be successful. If not, it probably means that PlayStation patched this. Like I said, this isn't gonna work forever. Every time an update was released, there is usually a patch to get around the update for a short period of time. Sometimes it's two weeks, sometimes it's as long as a month, sometimes it's even longer. So just uh, use this while you have it. Once it doesn't work, it's not gonna work anymore, and uh, you guys either have to update to uh, 4.10 or just not have PSN access. So uh, there it is, I really hope that helped you guys. Uh, make sure you hit subscribe up above. That will let you know anytime I put out a new video. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, also like my Facebook page, just because I put things on there that I don't necessarily make a video about. I'm always putting some kind of news on my Facebook page. Just make sure you like that. And uh, that's about it. I will catch you guys in the next video.